I got the GoPro on now, and we are going to try this again. We'll walk right down here and see what we can catch, because I saw some fish jumping. I don't know if I can get to it down over here. Might be too muddy. The grass is definitely wet from the rain. There was a boat over here a while ago. A bass boat working this bank. I don't know if they're catching anything, but I guess we shall see if they're still here. Yeah, that little spot looked, ooh, don't that look tasty. What if that water was about four or five foot deep? Problem is, it's only a few inches deep. There they go. They work around. I don't think I can. That was crankbait through there. Not right there. Too much lily pads. Could work a frog through there, though. Let's look right over here. Whoa. What was that? Is that a catfish or something? Maybe something's up here laying. Maybe we ought to give this a try. That was a big old fish. I don't know if it was a gar or carp or catfish or just no lazy bass laying up here. You can still kind of see the mud. Probably we got that through there. I wonder if we could just get it right through there. Yeah, we hung up on that. It's a good thing about braid. Most of the time, you can bring it on through. may get your line twisted around your hook like that, but most time you can pull braid. You just don't have a whole lot of give to it. Though. All right, let's go back to what we're going to do. Man, that was a big fish. I'd like to see what that was. Looks like the same story right over here. Look at that. Y'all see that little fish? I don't know what it is. Oh, that was good. I scared it. Wasn't very big. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over here. I think this is all growed over. Let's just do a little exploring. We're out here. Our shoes are wet. We got a hook. So let's go be a hooker. Learning how to be a hooker. That's what it's about. That'd be a good title for a video, wouldn't it? Talking about clickbait. I don't know about this, folks. Looks a little sketchy. Probably should have sprayed the mosquito spray on the Legos. Not for the mosquitoes, but for the uh, chiggers. Lordy. Yeah, luckily it's just right there. Yeah, and there's nobody shooting up there because that is a gun range right there. Oh, it's a good thing when you're downfield that nobody's shooting uh, up that way. However, if they do come down here, we'll have to vacate the premises. Because this kind of backs out of their land. Uh, they don't shoot anything high powered. I think most of it is skeet shooting. But, which, you'd probably be all right. But they don't want to shoot towards you, and I don't blame them. I wouldn't either. Ooh, I don't know about getting out of the water here. 
What do y'all think? Hmm. Looks a little marshy and mushy and snaky. Ooh, it's getting even more mushier. There's a little tree limb decided to grab our line here. See if I can, uh, there we go. I don't want to sink up to my knees. Ooh, there's something. Y'all see it right there? Something. Probably a gar. See if we can get his attention. I have a feeling those are gar. There's a few of them. Snake that down there and be real quiet. It's good if you can bring it right in beside trees and stuff like that without getting hung up. Because sometimes if they're feeling hungry, they'll come out of them trees and attack. But apparently there's nothing there. I'd really like to catch a fish just to say we caught one, carp or otherwise. It might turn out to be a pretty day. Hey, if y'all are really into crappie fishing and stuff and want to learn some stuff, check out uh, Sarge over on uh, Sleep at the Reel. I'll put a link right there in the description and go over there. Tell me I said howdy. Boy, don't that just look sweet going through that water. I'd bite it. But... And again, I'm not a fish. It may look totally different to them, but I do know this lure will catch fish. And he worked that bank over there pretty good. So I'm gonna go back over to this little rock point over there and uh, give it a go. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's do it. I tell you what, if this tree don't get trimmed, it won't wind up not being able to get downhill. You used to catch perch over here all the time. Caught a few crappie around that little tree right there a couple years ago. Or was that last year? I think it was a couple years ago. I don't remember. Been a while. You're not looking too promising, folks. So what I think we're going to do is uh, head over to another lake that's nearby and see if we can get something hooked up over there. So, don't go nowhere. I'll see y'all there. doing that we're gonna go do this and then we'll come back 
Y'all enjoy the birds. I'll be back. tip of that island like this see that don't ever do that that's not good you can break your eyelet real easy anyway here it is let's see if we can catch something uh, a little shallow all right let's go try it over here though for real not real sure can't remember how deep this was i fished over here before but it's been a while. Man, yeah, somebody done left their chair. Woo, doggies. We got us a chair. All right. Look at that. Woo, doggies. And we're in the wind. Oh, I don't know. What kind of chain is this? Rope. Is it a chain? That's a leash. Well, I guess the dog let him out into the water. Not a good thing. I don't know about y'all, but I don't have money just to forget my chair. Of course, you got to remember your chair before you can forget your chair. Somewhere like this. I always forget to get mine out of storage. So... Luckily, I can sit on the back of the truck. Seems to be pretty shallow over here. Wind stirring up the mud, that's for sure. Probably not going to spend much time over here, so let's walk on down here just a little bit and see if we can find a spot that might be a little deeper. The thing of it is, if, man, I hate walking through grass, especially out this lake. This lake is more known for rattlesnakes and any other lake around here I believe largely due to the fact of all the rock I believe nevertheless if you find yourself in a lake like this be careful especially if you're by yourself they are fixing this up out here pretty nice so kudos to whoever's responsible for it I don't know if the Burnett Ranch is or volunteers or what this I can see the bottom everywhere even in this muddy water all right I wanted to fish right over there that's a point that goes out but with the rain this morning that road is going to be very very muddy and uh I am not in the mood to get stuck. Because if you get stuck, you're out of luck. Because there ain't nobody around. Let's jump over to the other side of this little uh, peninsula here. Well, the birds are talking. I don't know if y'all can hear that. However they sound. Lots of trees over here. This looks pretty, pretty shallow. You want to reel your crankbaits kind of slow. Because you don't want to dig them into a tree limb. However, as close as those are, we might we'll just walk out there and get them. Look at that. Ain't that sexy? 
Ooh, look at that thing shake its tail. All right, enough settling us. Let's catch a fish. Hey, another YouTuber you might want to check out. Pretty cool if you uh, enjoy going to different campsites and different RV parks and state parks and whatnot. It's Dude RV. Go over to his channel. Check it out. His last video I just watched was on... Uh, what was that little river RV park over in Oklahoma? That looks like a nice little uh, park. I really want to go check that out. So, if you watch these videos, dude, appreciate it. I'm gonna have to go check it out. Not sure when, but it is on the list. Hmm, we're watching these sunflowers over here, man. Got a lot of. What is it? What? Oh, bumblebees. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Bumblebees. I don't know if y'all be able to see them or not, but pretty cool, pretty cool. I ain't gonna bother them. Let them do their thing while we do our thing. Our thing seems to be sliding in the mud because I don't want to get too close to them. Yeah, that's right. I'm chicken. I admit it. Me and bees of any sort do not get along so what do y'all say we get a worm on a hook and throw it out there see what happens well you know i turned the camera off on the gopro and uh saw something splashing around over here let me get this zoom before you can see can you see And uh, I found out what was splashing around right up there by the water. Big old park. Now, I told y'all this lure would catch anything. I didn't lie. Let's see if we can get him off of here. Get back to what we were doing. Right, this may be a little muddy, but we're going to try to go up and that way. We sure ain't catching nothing where we're at. One little perch that I didn't get on video and one carp. All right, let's walk over here and see if we can't catch a perch. Should have kept that little one had a while ago. We was right over there a few minutes ago. If you could fish with red ants, there's plenty of those. Man, the further out here you go, the shallower it seems. Man. This ought to be called Red Ant Point. Plenty of them. I don't know. Think we can get out on these rocks? Without falling in? Now can I turn around? That's the question. Whew. These rocks down here look a little flatter. I could use the worms, but perch, I think are better. Just my opinion, which doesn't always pan out very well. Of course, my perch jerking ain't panning out very well either. Pretty out here pretty day be a lot prettier if it was about 20 degrees cooler and trees were about 30 foot taller and water was about 80 percent clear but you know other than that it's pretty about ready to just throw a worm on there and see what we can do I really kind of wanted some fresh fish i've been wanting fresh fish and i caught a couple the other day but man after fishing all night to be honest with you i'm just not right 
I'm really not in the mood to clean fish. If I could catch something right now and head back to the house, whoa, it's muddy right there, then we wouldn't mind clearing a couple. But as it stands, I don't think that's going to be a, I don't even know where that went. We ain't kind of caught that and I wasn't paying that much attention. It went that way. That's all I know. <laughs> Looks like some clouds kind of building up in Oklahoma, maybe. Well, so much for that. Let's uh, see if I can slide in this mud again. Just a couple of steps. Oh, there. That was all. Well, when that wind's blowing now, this is definitely a good test for this mic. See if it's working. Well, I know it's working, but seeing if it blocks the wind. Okay. Usually, you can get around these rocks like this and pull out a perch or two. Sometimes you get a little more than that. Get a nice crappie or something, but generally speaking, it's a perch, and that's all I'm after. One little perch. Then I'm after the big fish. Catch the little fish to catch the big fish. Well, I just don't know about this lake and perch. Apparently, the perch here are a little smarter than what they are at other places. I guess they got a good perch school here. Yeah. Let's run back to the truck. Well, hello, Mr. Lizard. Can y'all see that? Right there. You got plenty of food, buddy. You gotta be good and healthy. Y'all watch him for a minute. See if he's catching anything. If he is, let me know. Did he catch anything? Hmm. Looks like he's just kind of watching out. Right. What if we just cast that way? We'll take this pole down there and uh, throw it out that way and try to bring the pole back up here. I don't know. Stretch it across here. Let's stop and take a picture. How's that? Keep on keeping on, and I'll see y'all on down the road. Bye.